Hey girl, I went for cornrows and this is a lace frontal wig. So I teamed up with Harella Hair to bring you this beautiful, easy, beginner friendly install. We're going to be installing the wig and as you guys can see, I did a little bit of baby hair when I was filming the outro. So I'm going to make it match on this side, but I just wanted to show you guys, are you team like no baby hair, a little baby hair, or should I fill it in and make a lot of baby hair? Nonetheless, I'm going to do a beginner friendly install, no baby hair, um, and keep it very simple. You'll see this one is very voluminous. It's kinky straight and it gives very much va va boom. I love these wigs and how beautiful they look on me. They just feel natural, even though it's not. But I went ahead and I showed you guys the whole full install of the hair down and then at the last minute I decided to style it up and do some cornrows originally I was going to do like the French braids that go here and then just let the hair fan out which is another option that I will be doing pretty soon but for today we're having movie night and going out with the kids and I think this look is very fitting and I love the fact that the wig is nice and full so that I'm not played any and they're not like skimpy braids but if you're interested in seeing the install or even the style keep on watching Jumping right into it, this is the wig straight out of the box. She is beautiful. This is a 13 by 4 lace frontal wig. She's a kinky straight texture in 24 inches. This is a look at the inside construction of the cap and there is so much volume. They even included this adjustable elastic band for a little bit more comfort and security. Here I am just cutting off a little bit of the excess lace as well as all of the excess lace around the ears to make the wig fit my head like a glove. Now I'm going to go ahead and customize the wig a little bit. The reason I cut off the lace around the front first was just to make sure that it was short enough so that I could see. We're going to cut off the rest of the excess lace after we finish customizations. Here you guys can see what the hair looks like as a center part. The texture of the hair just gives good hair. Like it really, really, really gives good quality hair. You can see the sheen, the luster, how soft it is, how pre-plucked it is. I just feel like the lace is amazing everything about this one is amazing I am tweezing out the hairline a little bit more at this point I, I had opted for baby hair you guys seen in the intro we did no baby hair we did a little bit of minimal like swoops that you can barely see but at this point I thought I was gonna go for full baby hair so this was me just prepping that before I cut off the excess lace and now we can cut off the excess lace. I personally love to do this step with an eyebrow razor or a pair of shears intended for hair use. This one is a black one that I picked up from Amazon probably about a year ago and I love these. Most likely I will use these but if I want to be a little bit more fancy I definitely go in with the eyebrow razor. The razor has to be sharp but you also don't want to cut your skin when doing so and this is why the scissors is just a little bit of an easy or a more convenient option. Now we're going in and bonding the wig down. I am using the red even adhesive. This one is active but it also will be removed or you can remove your wig uh, just with a little H2O. I love this one because it has a nice hold to it so it does last longer than like the yellow one per se and I'm just bonding it down by um, adding heat or blow drying on a cool setting and you really have to take your time and really make sure that that one is really really dry and this is how you're going to get the best install where it looks like really 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 melted. Now let's go in with the dynamic duo. I have the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb both come courtesy of bdeckbeauty.com. I have a direct link in the description box and I'm just going in and really stamping out that parting. You guys can see how much volume this one has, but if you really go in and press it out, it really does get super flat and I love that for me. It's also very important to me that you go in and press out the hairline. If you press out nothing at all, make sure you get that hairline looking like it is coming out of the scalp. And this is pretty much the step that helps me to achieve that look. You guys can see the difference but you can also see that texture and just how beautiful and how high quality this one is now with all of the volume we got going on the parting and the hairline look like we are ready and fresh out of a salon so you can really do anything at this point if it's bonded down and everything is on flat flat we good to go 
from here i'm just going ahead and primping the hairline now what i will say is i did get a little bit messy with these few steps so you would want to be careful to make it a little bit more clean right now i'm adding a foundation powder uh, to the hairline and then a concealer to the parting the step i did before this i just added a little bit of spritz to the hairline and kind of dried it to make sure that i canceled out any bit of like white cast look how beautiful the volume on this one is this is the one that like if you really love this style and you want to wear your hair in like a beautiful um like kinky straight texture like so you will want something that's really high quality like this and you really would want to make it look like it's coming out of the scalp not too fluffy around the parting or hairline and i think we did good with the execution now I've decided to style the hair. So there's many ways you can style this one. I'm going for two cornrows and I believe that because it's so full and voluminous, this literally is the best two cornrows I've ever done. Sometimes when you do two cornrows on a full lace wig, you don't really have a lot of volume and uh, density on it, like a high density. So it's very thin and natural. But if you want that kinky straight, uh, texture that it mimics our natural hair and you want it to be nice and full this frontal is a go-to and a key because again when you do a full lace wig the bonus is that you definitely can part it out but a lot of times it doesn't have much volume like this one i went to sephora after this and i got so many compliments here i am pulling the hair apart there are so many other ways you can style this one but i hope you guys enjoyed how i styled today definitely check it out i have a direct link in the description box okay love bugs so i went ahead and completed the look and i love it now i'm gonna have to like pull 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 the hair um i'm probably gonna have my husband help me but pull the hair because this is not a frontal i want to make sure that the actual tracks are not showing so don't clock me but let me show you what it looks like just to be transparent but don't clock me <laughs> is absolutely beautiful it came from Herella hair and of course it's intimidating because it's so full and so beautiful but I just feel like it's the perfect canvas for all of the fun hairstyles we love to do including some like box braids like some knotless braids I just separate the whole hair and just make them loose at the root so that they cover the track i think that would be absolutely beautiful this is the packaging from horella and then inside we did have a nice little pink dust bag and this one here is what the wig was inside and then we also have a like snake skin headband pack of wig caps and then this little goodie bag and of course inside you have all your free goodies you got some wig caps um, a kabuki brush, a pack of mink lashes, and then a wig melt belt band. Um, also, the dimensions on this one are 13 by 4 transparent lace wig, and she is 26 inches in length. We already know the texture is kinky straight, and she's absolutely beautiful. Now, I did not go in and manipulate the ends of the hair. Usually, I'll try to go in and like silk press it, but I really want to keep this one in its natural state and utilize it as is. Like I said, I really, really, really wanted to do some French braids or some cornrows and I knew a frontal would look better doing it opposed to doing it like with my natural hair because I don't have to worry about my hair frizzing up or redoing it or whatever wigs just make things easier for me on day to day and I love 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 the way it came out let me know what you guys think baby hair or no baby hair should I do more should I leave it like this what do you guys think think about this one we guys seen it straight and then we also seen it styled up and the style of course is my favorite way so be sure to check out Harella hair if you are interested in a wig like this work with this company before so i have a few hair reviews from them i believe i'll try to have those in the description box or you could just search the main page of my youtube channel and just type in Harella hair in the search box and you'll be able to pull up other options of course you can go on their website as well thank you guys so much for watching all the details list links of everything we use are in the description box and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches